Hey everyone, welcome back to the React.js course. So in this video, we'll be exploring about the map filter and the reduce methods in sort of a React application. So these are the three important methods that are required to know before uh, we start building our, our React application. And if you find this interesting, let's get started right away. So let's understand about map filter and reduce, which are the three most important methods uh, we need to learn before starting off with our React application. So we are going to learn each uh, of the method with each type of example, and then we'll explore out how, uh, how exactly the code works. Okay. So firstly, uh, let's understand how the map uh, works. So map function creates a new array from a calling function for each of the array element that is present inside of array. Okay, so over here inside my app.js, we are returning simply a div with a h2 tag which says hello react. All right, so uh, over here we have initialized the names array which has a unique ID, the name of the item and then the price of the item. So we are going to make use of the names array and then we are going to make use of the map function and then we are rendering all these items on the screen. Okay, so let's try that over here. Let's write, uh, let's get the access to the name. So let's write names dot, let's write map. So it's going to take the function, which is going to have the item and the index. Okay. So for every item inside of the names array, let's say we're going to return a div. Okay. So let's say a div and we want to access firstly the name okay of each of, of each and every item that is present in the names array so let us initialize the h3 tag and the way you access the name is uh, we have the item that is mapped over here so we are going to say item dot name so by making use of the dot operator we are going to access the whatever the attributes that particular item has so since we want the name attribute so we are going to say item dot name so just beneath the h3 let's initialize h4 tag and then over there let's write item dot price okay so we want to access the price value from the item so we're going to say item dot price so let's save the file so let's remove this h2 tag that's not required okay so save the file and go back to the web page okay yeah so as you can see we are able to see each and every item that is present inside the names array because we have accessed it using the map function that is by writing the item dot name that is the name and then the item dot price okay so let's give some spacing to uh, uh, to the dev so over here let's give the inline uh, inline styling of margin of 10 and then come back yeah so now you can see the items clearly so this is uh, the way you you use map function inside of react application so it's basically used for uh, rendering large sets of data okay so now we are going to explore about the filter function the filter method okay so over here let us simply create our own array let's say nums equals to one to one to eight okay so filter function takes a condition okay so if that condition is true we are going to push those elements into the array if the condition is not true then we are not going to take that element okay so over here itself we are going to write the condition we are going to say const result equals to nums dot filter it's going to take a value that is a function we are going to say x uh, mod 2 equals equals to 0 okay let's console dot log the result so this is the condition we are applying that is for each of the element inside our nums array we want to return the value uh, based on this condition that is x mod 2 equals equals to 0 so what happens is x in the sense it, it goes to the first value 1 mod 2 equals equals to 0 and then it comes to the, uh, to the next value if it is true it's going to push into the results array if it is false it's not going to take that item okay so let's console out log the result so we should get i guess 2468 if i'm not wrong so save the file and let's give a message over here uh, which says result okay so save the file come back over here let's open up our console yeah, so as you can see, we have the result array four times. That is, I mean, four elements in the array. That is two, four, six, eight. Okay. So as I told, all the uh, all the items which satisfy the condition are pushed into the the result array. Uh, if it doesn't satisfy the condition, like one, three, five, and seven, it's it's not going to take into the array. So that's about the filter function. It it works based on our particular condition. So now we're going to explore about the the reduced function. Okay, the the reduced method. That's the last one. So let's uh, 
initialize another array let's say const num value equals to 1 to 5 okay we are initializing all the elements from 1 to 5 inside of our array so reduce method pretty much uh, takes the array and then it reduces to a particular value that is a single value okay so we are going to take the, this example of finding the sum of an array and by taking this array we are going to find the single value that is its sum it's going to be i guess 15 okay let's see that so let's write const uh, result value equals to we're going to say num values dot reduce so this is again going to take a function in which we have the accumulator and then the current value okay we are going to say accumulator plus current and here we need to pass an initial value which is going to be zero at the start because the sum at the initial stage is going to be zero and the current value is one two three four and five the accumulator is initially set to zero so that's the way it works and after each and every iteration we are going to simply add the accumulator plus to the current value okay so current maps to all the values inside our num values array and as i told accumulator is equal to the initial value that we passed here which is zero so pretty much we should get the sum so that's uh console.log the result so let's say sum value is yeah so result value save the file you should get 9 12 13 14 15 yeah it should be 15 let's give that a try so let's clear the console and then refresh it once more yeah so as you can see we are able to see the message which says some value is 15 so this is the way a uh, map filter and reduce works so if you know these basic implementations uh, yeah uh, it is easy for implementation of a react application if you are building any okay yeah i think that's it for this video we have explored about the map function how exactly it works by taking the uh, the the names are example and then we have explored about the filter that is working based on a particular condition that we apply over here and then finally at the last we explored about the the reduce method which takes an array and then it reduces it to a single value so we understood that with the help of the sum examples the, the, the sum of an array okay so by taking the accumulator and current value we are returning accumulator plus current by providing the initial value of zero okay so that's it about this video and then let's see you in the next video and then thank you for watching